Hello there, this is Victor for Partner Island. Today I'd like to talk about the advantages, uh, another advantage of listing your video as not public and not private, but as unlisted. When you upload a video on YouTube, you have the options of, of clicking the public button so everybody can see it, the private button so only a certain amount of people can see it. I think it's, uh, there's a limit to maybe 25 or it used to be. Or unlisted, which means anyone with the link can see it. Uh, I'm not really sure why you would do that unless maybe oh you know what it would be good for that that would be good for some people who have a private site and they don't want anyone to be able to see videos unless they belong to their site so for example if I have actually it's a good idea if I have a members only Japanese for morons site and I only want people who for example paid uh, to access that site to be able to see those videos I could use this function on that site and I could embed those videos on that site. I, I, I'm assuming they can be embedded. Yeah, pretty sure because it's uh, it says anybody can with the link can see it. So I would embed those videos on my private site which you could only access with the password. So it's actually a great idea. Hmm, you should think about that. But another very useful function of that is to share videos. If you are doing a collaboration with someone, a lot of you uh, use you send it or uh, you upload to a different site. I think there's one called um, I forgot, Blip TV maybe. And another option is uh, uploading it to an iDisk and downloading it from there, but you've got to give people passwords and things like that. And it takes time. The easiest way is to actually upload it to YouTube and click the unlisted button. Just click unlisted. As soon as it's, as, as it, as it is uploading, that's important. Because if you don't, then people, your subscribers will see what you're doing. And this is a collaboration, so one of the points of the collaboration is to not let the part that your subscribers see until the finished product, right? So anyway, upload your video, click unlisted. Uh, when it's when the video goes live, take the URL and email it to the person you're doing the collaboration with. They can then go to keepbid.com or a number of other download sites. Another one is uh, kissyoutube.com. Always works. So for example, uh, let, let me give you the first one. Keepvid.com works almost all the time, but once in a while it's off. And another option, if you don't have another um, a plugin on your Firefox or something, is to go to the video you want to download and then type in "kiss" right before YouTube. Just insert, you know, you, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? At the top of the at the URL, it says YouTube, blah blah, watch, blah blah. It has a weird, really weird garbly number. Just insert the word K I S S right before YouTube. K I S S, not dot. K-I-S-S, YouTube.com, and then the rest of that garbly gook. And actually, it'll take you to another, another site where you can download that video. Uh, another option is to install a plugin on Firefox. Just type in plugin on Firefox. They probably have plugins for other um, browsers as well. And you can install a plugin that downloads uh, the video uh, to your um, computer. However, those plugins do not work on private videos. So if someone sends you a private video, it will not work. It only works on unlisted and public videos. And for some reason, it doesn't, um, keep bid sometimes doesn't work on videos that are under three seconds. Like I, I once tried to download this video of a dog farting and it, it wouldn't work. So there you go. Okay. Those are the advantages of, of um, unlisted and thanks for watching everyone. And I'll talk to you soon.